How's it going, everyone? Liam Kedison here. This is episode number 13 for Attack on Titan, uh, a number that is unlucky for some, and hopefully it will uh, be unlucky for the Titans, even though I guess they've had their fair share of misfortune, because dying isn't exactly a pleasant experience. I mean, it's even worse on the human side, but... You just gotta think, these Titans might have parties every week and they've just lost to Jerry, the their best uh, the best person who can make cakes and all of that, or Fred, who who is the best stand-up comedian of this Titan party group. I'm trying to see I'm trying to see both sides uh of, of the coin here. Uh both humans and the Titans. Uh, and I'm trying to to see a bit more uh, to try and mitigate the evil of the Titans, I guess. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, um, yes, uh, I think uh, the human side needs this push. I mean, they've they, they've been preaching it about uh, them needing this victory, this this first push against the Titans for a couple of episodes. Ever since they found out that we can use Eren to uh, in his Titan form to our advantage to to seal up that uh, breach in in the wall. And, uh, yeah, of course, it didn't go without, um, a, f a few things going awry with, um, Eren Titan deciding to lash out at Mikasa, and, uh, yeah, we, we got down the bottom of that incident in the last episode because he was in that, like, limbo state, uh, he was in, he was in this purgatory state, and whereas he, um, took the driver's seat last time around he took the back seat in this uh in this episode so uh, whilst uh the natural aggression of the titan took uh the driver's seat uh, and thus um he lashed out at mikasa and everyone else who is basically not a titan so yeah that was a problem but thank goodness for armin reminding uh reminding erin why he's uh here uh, and and give, uh, giving him that bit of light uh, he was able to make Eren pull through, and now Eren's back in the driver's seat, but that doesn't mean that all the issues have been quelled, because, of course, there's still a prospect on if Eren can even lift the boulder to begin with, so yeah, uh, but it's worth a shot, because um, he's now in this, like, super, uh, this enlarged humanoid body, uh, and uh, that sprung the idea into mind. Well, maybe we can use this to seal up the breach. So um, it's all a matter on if he can actually lift that boulder, which I assume he can, but I'm not going to, uh, but I don't expect Eren to be like, yoink, uh, like it's just, like he's just lifting a, a piece of paper, basically. So yeah, um, but that's not the only predicament that we're in. Jean is in a bit of a struggle because he's got uh, his number one fan chasing after him uh, in the form of a Titan, of course. Um, yeah, a Titan is uh, currently after him and uh, his maneuver gear is a bit busted. So yeah, and he's managed to find one of uh, a dece uh, deceased comrade, uh, but it's all a matter of getting to that maneuver gear without being spotted. So... Um, we're we're praying for Jean because yeah I'm I'm starting to like Jean a lot more so yeah but um with that said let's get into episode number thirteen for Attack on Titan let's go. <laughs> That's a sick shot though. Not gonna lie. I haven't even done my episode twelve of Nail yet, but I know which one I'm using. Just notice the kind of parallel to Jean and Eren as well. Oh boy. Best bet, Jean. Oh, don't tell me that's broken as. Mm, Jean! Bolt it! That was- oh my god! At 
leaves us out of that predicament, so... Just like the dream, just like the visions. Go on, buddy! You got this! He did. <laughs> See, they heard that now. Live up to your promises. Oof. Paving the way for for Eren to do his job. He's like, this hurts, but I'm fine. <laughs> Only way. Strong words. Beautiful. Oh! No! Ah, shit! Go on, Rico! Woohoo! This is. Come on, Mikasa! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! We've won! Back to the drawing board, you titans, go! <laughs> oh, Rico. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that that's setting me big energy. That is setting me big, juicy energy, seeing the humans succeed. No. Wait, was that who I think it was? I... Oh shit, I think it's Levi! Ho oh. ho! Nice. Nice。死者、行方不明者、290名。負傷者、890人。I Oh no! No, 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 no! His best buddy! No! Heartbreaking thing when you've lost your buddy. Kundenhead now, look, I'm, I'm guessing this is because of the tight situation. 
おい、<笑> Jesus, Levi, chill. Not bad, pretty awesome. Cautious side, nothing wrong with that, to be fair. But go, Levi! お前の調査兵団入団を。Nice. So he's ascended from trainee. I'd say that's not really too bad considering he has kind of given humanity their first victory. Um if I'm right in believing he's now just ascended from trainee to survey um in terms of his rankings, but yeah, um I thought that whole situation with him in the jail cell was going to be a lot worse. Um, but, of course, they've got to take extra precaution as well. Like, Levi's even said, okay, well, I'll offer to help you out, buddy, but I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm not going to trust you for one second, but um, if you if you want to help us and all of that jazz, that's great. But doesn't mean we're best buddies straight away. Speaking of best buddies, though, my heart, my heart for for bloody, uh, I guess Rico as well, like her losing Ian and, uh, um, and John with Marco. It's it's pretty, pretty, uh, it's pretty soul crushing, isn't it? Ooh, that was intense, and I'm assuming the battle for trust, um, that story arc has now come to an end. Because we won. We have, I mean, there have been some losses, including Ian and Marco. Um, but we did win. And like uh, uh, and like uh, Rico said, uh, they did not die in vain. Uh, we, we have managed to not just take a victory for ourselves, um, but we could, uh, like the humans could themselves could find a way to learn more about the titans because it seemed like they have a f uh, they had a few titans restrained so they could do some dissection on the titans because you have to remember they are a bit limited on knowledge in terms of the titans so this could help them know further more about the titans and not just that though but uh, be able to make progress in this war against the Titans because they did get lucky with the fact that Eren was a Titan. Like, let's be real. If 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 Eren was not a Titan, it would be game over. So they've got to learn bits and pieces um, about the Titans so they can um, do deal. They can deal more damage to the Titans uh, themselves, and uh, they have. They have that advantage with the fact that they've got a few Titans restrained as well. Um, but even then, we learned quite a bit of gnarly information regarding the Titans as well, especially with how um, how they threw up uh, because they had to. They have to make room in their stomachs. Uh, it it just goes to show the sickening nature of the Titans, doesn't it? Because, um, like. They do prey on they they do feast on on humans uh, for the hell of it and um, that proof is e exemplified with the fact that they do uh, regurgitate uh, humans to make room for more people uh, and it's pretty pretty gnarly isn't it See, seeing seeing um, we saw that uh, person's head like oh it was it was very nightmarish wasn't it so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to see where things go, especially with with the plan to get back Wal Maria as well, but also the relationship between Eren and Le uh, Levi as well, because Levi, not gonna lie, he is a very, very fascinating character who I loved in the other episode when we were uh, going uh, when we had a quick analyze of the Survey Corps, um, and Levi showed up again in amazing fashion um 
and he is slowly becoming one of my favorite characters uh not gonna lie i mean he's only had a small impression but d- just his character is just absolutely amazing they understandably want to keep a bit of an eye on him so yeah but just because he did help out with um he, just because pixis was right and he helped out with the breach trust won't be instilled like that it won't be instilled like that and there's going to be a lot of people like the captain for example um who are still going to be like yeah i don't trust him still so yeah um it, like people within the government as well like they're going to be skeptical as hell but uh this is why it's great to have people like owen i guess and uh levi um tend to him and say well we're we're putting you in this jail cell because we're keeping an eye on you that's understandable um but we're gonna hear you out buddy okay so yeah even if uh levi was a bit to towards Evan, Evan at first but then he listened to his reasoning why he wants to join the survey corps and he was like you know what this kid ain't bad so yeah he's got he's got uh he's got spirit so i like that um I'm assuming he learned about the key as well, because I don't think uh, it's public knowledge about the key. So I'm guessing he learned about the key through Levi, who heard it from Armin or Mikasa, because um, that's where the last time we saw Eren, uh, he was with Armin and Mikasa, and Levi did show up. So, yeah, and like I said, they're not exactly... They, they only put him in that jail cell for, for precautions, uh, so... Yeah, um, and they they're willing to to listen to him. They're they're being reasonable with him. So they just wanted a bit of information. They probably tended to uh, arm in on Mikasa and said, "We're not gonna do anything to to Aaron. We're not going to be uh, bitches towards him. We just want some kind of information, and we're willing to speak to him peacefully." So yeah, and yeah, so they did. So yeah, um, it was really really great to see, um. It was really, really great to see those two tend to Eren's aid. But it was also intense seeing Eren lift the boulder, as well as that speech uh, about uh, about fighting and, and the world. It was really, really mesmerizing and tantalizing. It was it was beautifully conveyed, and the music did help out such uh, so much, uh, as well as um, his team just helping out, dealing the damage to the Titans. Um, it was it was a beautiful sequence, intense, beautiful, really, really amazing stuff to see, um, as well as some of the sacrifices. It was pretty, pretty tragic, like Ian sacrificing himself. Um, but as um, as Rico said, he didn't die in vain. So um, yeah, but it's still disheartening to see, isn't it? Um, and that's what I really, really liked about this. Uh, like they didn't celebrate their first victory. Uh, there was that somber mood um with around 200 dead or missing and i think it was like 900 who was um wounded um but like i said they didn't die in vain uh, but it's still crushing for the perspectives of jean and uh, i guess sasha as well seeing the vomit um it was still a very very disheartening experience especially from uh, when you when you go into jean's perspective because you've seeing jean and marco interact and marco giving jean that confidence boost uh since jean uh, jean is like armin who who does kick himself down a bit more and is more um leadership material uh he does think strategically should i say and uh marco was there to help him out a bit and now he he died horrifically and it was pretty pretty disheartening to see that from uh from from jean so yeah although there was a few close calls for jean himself wasn't there um like there was one moment where the where the titan just crashed for him and then it was like oof and my heart did spike a couple of moments of jean but uh, i had faith that he would be able to get out of there at times uh at, like during this episode but at times um my heart did spike quite a bit so yeah um yeah, I'm really as well excited to um I was I was really really excited um to just basically see the action sequences as well uh, as I always do with this episode, but not just that though. Um 
going back to the Titans and the and the vomit situation, I think we learned a bit more about uh, Eren being fused with the Titan. I mean, we kind of got that idea anyways with the with the sticky um like brown color that that is uh, attached to Eren's body when he's in the Titan, uh, brownish red, should I say? Um, but you had a comment from Armin who said he's literally hot, like um as if you're um. I don't know. You're backing. Uh, you're blocking the fans in the laptop, for example, and that heats up and all of that. So, um, that's what I. That was I, what I was imagining when he said that. But um, it seems like there are more setbacks for for Armin. Uh, not Armin for Eren being uh, a Titan as well. Like um, he was. It, it seemed like he was fusing um somewhat to the Titan, and I'm not so sure if um. He will gradually sink, like if he would gradually sink into the Titan's body or something like that, like sink further. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just taking that comment with with a grain of salt with with him being fused, um, uh, like uh, merging with the Titan's body. So, yeah, I, I'm taking that um with a grain of salt. But yeah, it was a very intense episode. I really, really loved it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Like I said, with uh, the partnership of or Eren and, and Levi, because Levi, like I said, is a very, very exciting uh, character, and uh, it was very, very great, great stuff of an episode. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!